The gentleman is recognized. I thank the gentlewoman for yielding. And when I think of China, I think of this health care plan. Centralized planning, that's what it is. And, Mr. Speaker, I know you and so many others have been spending their weekends reading this 1,990-page monstrosity, which some people think is going to save health care. I think, rather, it will save the bureaucracy. This bill, in these 1,990 pages, which have yet to be amended with yet another amendment called the Manager's Amendment. Now, what goes into the Manager's Amendment are kind of what is the result of having your arm twisted. What did you get? for your twisted arm. It will be in the manager's amendment, which is not in these 1,919 pages. But what is? Premium increases, tax increases, Medicare cuts, bureaucrats between you and your doctor, and at a mere cost of $1 trillion. In the year that we have had the highest deficit in the history of the United States, $1.4 trillion, the Pelosi plan comes in weighing at $1 trillion. When we just got our unemployment figures back. Think about this. The president, with an 8.5% unemployment rate, pushes upon the Congress a $787 billion stimulus bill, and now unemployment has gone from 8.5% to 10.2%, and in so many other pockets of America, it's 14, 15, and 16%. Where are the jobs? Why have we taken the focus off the main thing, the economy? Why are we going down the track of government takeover of health care and massive mandates on individuals, doctors, and small businesses, just like China? Mr. Speaker, 1,900 pages. It's ridiculous. The Republican alternative, which is not even half, not even 25 percent, but I'd say maybe 15 percent in size, weighing in at, say, maybe a mere 150 pages, <laughs> cross-line selling to bring more competition for individuals, association health care plans to let small businesses pull together, expansions of health savings accounts, medical malpractice reform to reduce frivolous lawsuits. These are the, this is the Republican alternative, and the difference in the philosophy is simple. If your kitchen sink is leaking, you fix the sink. You don't take a wrecking ball to the entire kitchen. That's what the Pelosi plan does. The Republican plan focuses on those who have unfortunately fallen through the cracks. People who may be too young for Medicare, too wealthy for Medicaid, maybe they're 40 years old, unemployed in this Obama economy, and maybe they have a pre-existing illness. The Republican-targeted reforms try to help that person. They don't try to take the health care away from the rest of the American public who are happy with, they, with what they have. We do not need a centralized command control government in Washington, D.C. that tries to take away the rights of businesses and individuals in the form of a huge government takeover of health care. And, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you. Thank you.